Welcome to Fit Perez. I'm Mariko and I absolutely love using the crock pot. The crock pot is essential for a fifth lifestyle. It's really, really fast, really, really easy, and you can cook a complete meal without having any kitchen cleanup at all. Today I'm sharing my recipe for beef stew. It's one of my personal favorite recipes. It's delicious and it's the one recipe that inspires my friends to go buy a crock pot of their own. For this recipe, I'm not even gonna chop anything up at all. I'm gonna use ingredients that are already prepped and ready to go. You can buy stew meat already cut up and ready to go from your butcher. So this here is about a pound. Put it in there like that. And then you wanna add some potatoes. I like using these little baby creamy potatoes because they're really tiny, already ready to go, but they're just so buttery that it gives a lot of depth to the stew. So I'm just gonna put them in here like that. All right, then you just wanna add some carrots. I have a bag of baby organic carrots, just like that. Then you just wanna add some onions. I absolutely love these baby pearl onions that you can get in the freezer section at your grocery store. They're already tiny, round, sweet, oniony, ready to go. So you can just put them in there, or well, maybe just like a half a bag. Now I'll use the whole bag, they look really good, they taste really good. But they're great because you get that onion flavor and you don't have to worry about smearing your mascara or starting the tears or anything like that. Then you just wanna add a big can of diced tomatoes. Then you wanna add some pepper. I absolutely love pepper, so I always add a bunch of it. I'm one of those people that when I go out to eat and they bring out the fresh ground pepper and they're like, tell us when, the waiter always gets kind of annoyed because I will never say when. All right, that's good. And then some of my favorite salt, it's the smoked salt. All right, and then grab my spoon and then just stir it up. Okay. The crock pot is great because you can cook an entire chicken in there. You can cook, add a giant pork butt, add some orange slices to kind of make carnitas. It's really great because it's so easy and you end up making a lot of healthy and nutritious food. I like it because there's always leftovers and then I have something good for, the, for lunch the next day. But one of my favorite parts about the crock pot is I'll put it together before I go to work. So it takes about five minutes. And then I come home and the house smells so good. Then dinner's ready. I barely have any cleanup at all. And then I can spend the rest of the evening doing the things that I really need to do and not doing dishes. All right. That's it. If you want to get a little creative, you could put a little splash of red wine in to make a beef bourguignon type stew. You could add some frozen peas, just add some fresh herbs, just whatever you have on hand. All right. Then I'm just going to cook it at high for about four hours, or you can do it at low for eight hours. If you're gonna go out and buy a crock pot, make sure to get one that has a timer on it. So you can set it at the time length that you need and when it's done, then you can just, it, then it just automatically sets it to warm. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna put the lid on it and then I'm gonna come back in about eight hours. So my student, hot, hot, okay. Gotta be careful, oh, I did it again. <laughs> okay, be careful because the crock pot around the edges is going to be hot. The house smells delicious and dinner is finished. I'm just gonna put it in a bowl and it's ready to go. So fast, so easy, so delicious. For more tips and recipes using the crock pot, check out my website at culinaryadventureswithmariko.com. Enjoy. <laughs>